Hey everyone, welcome to our New Year's Eve uh, cook along. So shortly we're going to be taking you through the menu. For starters, we've got appetizer, we've got starters, and then main course, and we've got the clock strikes, uh, strikes 12 for the dessert. So we're going to take you through that all now. Remember, you've got your recipe book here, which Ed's got. It's got the uh, instructions in there as well on how to do everything. So you've got a separate recipe card for each recipe, so really, really easy to follow. So for now, let's get cooking up the recipes and we'll take you through each dish start to finish. First course on the New Year's Eve menu, we've got a lovely appetizer to get you in the mood for the rest of the meal. For vegetarians and vegans, we've got a lovely little soup here. This is Douglas fir um, flavoured butternut squash soup. So we get the squash, we roast it with the Douglas fir, and we blend it to this lovely smooth velouté. With that, we've got some little gougères, so these little vegan cheese gougères, and then we've got some toasted pumpkin seeds in a pine oil with a lovely bit of chives just chopped, chopped through there. And then our fish appetizer, we've got a little chalk stream trout just here, cured in beetroot. That's going to go on these lovely bits of crispy pumpernickel bread. We've got creme fraiche, and then look at that, some lovely Exmoor caviar, which is just going to go on the top. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to get my able assistant just over here to put my gougères. They're going in the oven, only about three to four minutes just to heat them through. My bit of velouté, that's going on the stove, just going to warm that up. Everything here else is cold, so really, really nice and simple appetizer to get the meal started. Back in free to plate this up. Right, let's get our little fish appetizer plated up first of all. So I've got my croups spread out nicely there, nice crispy croups. Then let's cut our little cured trout just out of the bag. So let's just take that out. Remember all of this is all eco little film but it's in small that can go in the bin or your compost bin, no problem at all. So there is your trout. Peel the paper off. And there you've got all your lovely thinly sliced trout there. Next, let's just cut off the end of my piping bag. So that it's got the creme fraiche just in there. And then what I'm gonna do, take a palette knife and then a little bit of the uh, sea trout. First of all, let's get one piece on there for every single one. Just see how I'm just curling it over. We all always go back and put a little bit more on, but make sure you kind of divide it nice and evenly. And then we'll put a little bit more on there. So this is just a lovely way to start the meal off. More sea trout, and then we'll get plating up the rest. So that's my trout, a little clear down. Then let's take some of our creme fraiche. You see, I'm just gonna turn that into a piping bag and then pipe some lovely little piles of creme fraiche all on top. So in every bite you're getting a little bit of creme fraiche, a little bit of sea trout, crispy pumpernickel. I know, what a way to start off the menu. There you go, that's my creme fraiche. Then your caviar, just use a little spoon just to open up that tin. You've got your own little personal pot of caviar there. Nice little bit on each one. Of course, if you haven't got caviar lovers, leave the caviar off and that is more for you. There we go, a little bit more on there. Like so. There we go. Caviar will keep really well in the fridge. Just seal it back up again. There we go. Right, got my little dish here, all ready just to plate those nice crispy croups on. So, now Ed's bringing up my vegetarian and vegan appetizer here. So that's my first one. Little clean down the board. Let's put that caviar out of the way. We'll put that back in the fridge so that keeps really well. There we go. Right, now I've got my heated bowl just on here. Fresh spoon. The velouté has just been heated up. Doesn't need to boil, really, really important. Pour that into your bowl, like so. Then we're gonna get our little gougères. So there's nice vegan cheese just inside here, little bechamel. Put those floating in the top. And then we're going with our pumpkin seeds. See that just kind of trickle them in, in between the little gougères and of course the oil. And then you can finish off, make sure you get the oil all around the outside. And there we go. So two beautiful appetizers to get the meal started. You've got your cured sea trout and you've got your velouté of butternut squash. Hope you enjoy.
On to our second course now of our New Year's Eve menu. What we've got for you again, we've got uh, start two starters. Of course, we've got a vegetarian and vegan one. This is a lovely beetroot capaccio. You can see just here, which is under the paper. So you've got different beetroots, which we've roasted. And then you've got a little bit of beetroot ketchup there. You've got beetroot dressing, some nice crispy beetroots with deep fried capers. Then our other starter for you, we've got this Jerusalem artichoke velouté, just in here, flavored with truffle. We've got a little caramelized shallot brioche with some nice thyme on the top, Parmesan butter, and shaved truffle in there. What we're gonna do to get these starters going, really, really simple. A little velouté, that needs to go on the heat. There you go, Eddie, you can heat that up for me. And then the brioche, it's not gonna take long, about three to four minutes in the oven, essentially just until it's warm inside. That can go in the oven as well. Now, whilst that's all happening, I'm going to put my butter to the side and I'm going to get a couple of flakes ready. So this is just ready just for, my, for my soup, I'm going to warm that up though. But for my beetroot capaccio, let's first of all take it off the board, there we go. And then you've got two sides to this, so you've got presentation side which is the top. Turn it over on your hand and then see how I'm just going to peel that off. And I'm going to get the plate and I'm gonna put it on the top, and then I'm just gonna turn it over, like so. So, get the paper, peel it off, there we go. You can then just slightly, you know, amend the beetroot if you wanna kind of just spread it out a little bit, but try not to move it on the plate too much, uh, especially pushing it in because you will color the plate and then it's not gonna look as nice. So, that's our carpaccio. Then what we're gonna do is take some of our beetroot dressing, I'm just gonna put some of that on the top. We can always put a little bit more on later on. And then you've got some golden beetroots. You've got shallots going through there. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got a nice bit of that with those chunks. There we go. Can always put a, bit, a little bit more on after, as, as I said. A little bit of molten salt. Just on the top of the beetroots. Then, Get your ketchup, nice sharp knife, cut off the end, that little piping bag, squeeze it down to form a little piping bag, and then pipe some nice little piles all the way around. This is really pokey, it's got a lovely little bit of spice, that vinegariness, so it really does cut, cut through all the beetroot, all the beetroots nicely. You want know, to get a good bit on there. Look at all that colour. Really, really nice. Then I'm going to get some of the beetroot crisps. I'm just going to plate these all the way around. You want to do this quite last second because they will go soft if they're in that vinaigrette for a long amount of time. Then get a spoon. Some of those little fried capers. Wicked combination of fried capers, beetroot. Really, really nice. So get a good few of those all the way around it. And then if you like more dressing, serve a bit more on the side, completely up to you. I'm happy with that. Right, let's get our bowl underneath the uh, grill or in the oven quickly. And then what we're gonna do, put wipe down the board. I'm just gonna take my Parmesan butter. So it's just on a little bit of paper. Make sure that's out room temperature a good bit of time before you're gonna serve it. So that'll be all nice and soft. And there we go, there's our Jerusalem artichoke blue today. Let's have a quick taste. Lovely, absolutely. So, that's our blue tape. Again, always check it. If you like a bit more seasoning, go for it, no problem at all. We've got our brioche there. Thank you very much. So, with your brioche, you see all I'm gonna do, slice a little bit off the bottom. That's just gonna stop it from rocking about. I'm gonna put a cut with a serrated knife almost all the way down, just like that. And then what you can do, you can just serve that just on the side of the brioche. So you are all ready to spread your bit of uh, butter on the brioche, pour the soup into the bowl, like so. There we go. Then open up your truffle. Remember, don't leave that open on the side for long because it will start to lose all of its lovely aroma, and then take those beautiful pieces of truffle and just get those all the way around, like so. Another one there. Now I like to just finish it off, a little few droplets of rapeseed oil. 
So that is second course, all served up, nice and simple. You've got your artichoke velouté with your brioche and parmesan butter to spread onto it whilst it's all nice and warm. Then you've got your beetroot carpaccio with ketchup, crisps and fried capers. On to the main course now on our New Year's Eve menu and again we've got our two dishes coming up for you. Let's go through the vegetarian one first of all. We've got our little risotto of mushrooms in here. We've got a cooking liquor which has got a touch of sherry going through there. Then we've got salsify just in here. Salsify, a bit of clarified butter going through it. We've got little pickled shimiji mushrooms in there, touch of uh, parsley going through it. And then we've got uh, little grilled mushrooms here, so king oyster mushrooms, just, just grilled, all ready to go in the oven. And we've got a few quail's eggs. That's all of our dishes on there, all of our parts of our risotto dish. And then our beef dish, we've got your steak here. So this is our ribeye steak, aged grass-fed beef. Uh, it's already been part cooked, so this is just basically gonna be going in the oven to finish off. Uh, we've got our sauce board lays in there with some bone marrow, uh, lovely bit of red wine going through the sauce, pomana, little carrot puree, roasted carrot. What we need to do to start off with, let's take our beef out. So we're going to take our beef out of the packet. And you'll get your UV Chef little greaseproof paper in the box. Line your tray with that paper. Let's just get rid of that. Quick rinse of the hands. And then what we need to do. That is going to go in the oven about 12 to 14 minutes. If you like the beef less cooked, 10 to 12. 12 to 14, I'm saying for medium. Of course, well done. Add another six, eight minutes. You can always put just a little pinpoint of a knife just in there just to check it's hot in the center. That's going to go in now. Um, this is going to cook up lovely. Most important thing, rest it for about five, six minutes before you serve it. Okay, so that's going in the oven now, baby, ready? And then the garnishes. Pomana, that's only going to take about, about eight minutes to go in. Uh, you can put a bit of foil if you, if you like over the top, but eight minutes and that will be all nice and crisp, ready to serve. So we'll just put that along the side. Our sauce, again, it's going to go on just on the stove with our carrot puree. So I'm just going to put those there ready to heat up. Your carrot and your salsa feed, so this is now we're moving on to the risotto dish. Both of these can just go into the water for about six minutes, okay? So I'm going to put them by the side. I've got some simmering water, which I'm just going to turn right the way down, and they're going to go into there shortly. And then my risotto. Let's just show you how to do this one again. Really, really simple. This is the risotto po poaching liquor here. So this is what I've already cooked it in. Pour that into your risotto. And then that is now going to go onto the heat. I'm going to bring it up to the simmer while stirring it. And then we're going to cook it for an additional four to five minutes while stirring it, just to make sure it doesn't stick in, stick on the bottom. So again, I'll hand that over to my uh, busy assistant back here. Um, then um, you've got your little mushrooms grilled. Again, six minutes in the oven. Shimijis are going to stay on the side. So too are my quail's eggs. They're going to stay here, just at room temperature. We're going to serve them. Back in about 10 to 12 minutes, where we'll put the beef and we'll put the risotto together. So. All ready to serve up our New Year's Eve main courses here. So I've got a plate for my beef and I've got a bowl for my risotto. Ed's just going to take the salsa peat and the roasted carrot out now. They've just been in the little backpack bag, just warming up in the water. Really, really simple. Then I've got my risotto there. See that lovely and creamy. That's just been four minutes, just really like gently simmering away whilst you're stirring it. So I'm just going to plate that there. And then my beef, see I've got the beef here. This has been out of the oven for about five, six minutes now, all nicely rested. Important, get a little pair of scissors, just put that beef on the side and you can see you've got one little string around that. Just turn that, cut that through, through, take the string off, let's get that away nicely. And then a bit of salt, a bit of molten salt on the top. Right, so we're all ready to plate. Let's get our risotto done first. So into the bowl, use that spatula to get everything out of there. And then let's tamper that all down. Thank you very much. So there's our risotto. That's got all those mushrooms going through there. I'm just tapping that out so it's all nice and even. Right. Then let's finish off our risotto. So, salsa feet. See, so yeah, I just put that on a nice bit of kitchen roll for me just to drain it off. Going to get three nice pieces of salsa feet on the plate. Then we've got our little grilled mushrooms. So we'll get those all around the plate. There we go, lovely king oysters. Then I've got pickled mushrooms. 
you've got lots going on here. You've got lots of different textures and those lovely little vinegary mushrooms that just cut through everything. Nice bit of colour on the top. There we go. So, that's our mushrooms. Quail eggs. Tip them out onto your board. Sharp knife. Just cut through, like so. There you go. Now, final one. They're all good to go. A little bit of seasoning on each egg. And then you can just put those just like that. Look at that, lovely. All around the risotto. Tiny bit of rapeseed oil to finish off. And that is our vegetarian. Right, let's get the beef finished off. So we've got our sauce board lays just here. Got our carrot puree. Our pom anna is on the way. So carrot puree, make sure that's all nice and stirred. Thank you very much. Nice and even. Let's get our beef. You can slice it if you like. I just want to put that whacking great chunk of beef on there. Look at that, have that for your New Year's Eve dinner. Then our pom anna. Let's put that just at the back. So that's really thinly sliced layered potato. Just cooked with nice salted butter. Carrot puree, lovely little spoon of that. Then I'm gonna take my carrot. I'm just gonna sit that, let's point that up there so have that fried in place. And then that just leaves a little clean down before we serve. Sauce board lays. So again, that's just been brought up to the heat nice and gently. Get some of that bone marrow. Just put that all on the top. There we go, this is my kind of dish. How about you, Eddie? This is certainly one for one for me. Perfect for a New Year's feast, that. It is indeed. Uh, lots of sauce. And remember, serve extra on the plate if you wish. There we go. So that is our two main courses. Our stunning ribeye of beef, pride of place, with the pomana, carrot puree, and the sauce board lays. And then we've got our risotto of mushrooms, with the little pickled chimichi mushrooms, salsa feet, and quail eggs. Hope you enjoy the main course. Onto the part you've all been waiting for now, and this is our New Year's Eve dessert. This is the Clock Strikes 12. So as you can see there, look at that. You've got your beautiful Yubi Chef little logo on the top. Uh, what this is, we've got a dark chocolate mousse. Uh, we've got an orange gel just in the centre. Lovely little uh, dark chocolate brownie on the bottom. Um, and then you're just gonna crack into it. It's sprayed with uh, orange chocolate around the outside. Make sure, first thing, this is out for at least 15, 20 minutes before you're gonna serve it. That's gonna mean the chocolate just warm up fridge cold, never a good idea. So just take that, you can put it onto your plate beforehand, but basically just get that onto your serving plate like so. And then the garnishes, I've got a little fresh orange salad, we've got comfy orange, and we've got this nice orange gel in here, and not forgetting your little sparkler to go on the top. Begin by cutting open those orange segments, get those into your dish. Remember all of these are compostable so you can go straight in here in your food waste. And then we'll just open up our confit as well. So confit, this is where the, the orange uh, rind has been blanched three separate times in water, boiling water. And then we've just confit it slowly in a lovely sugar syrup. So get all of that out, like so. And I'm just gonna cut my end of the pipe mag off. That's is all ready to pipe onto the plate. So here we go. Little spoon. Just spread that confit out over so all of the segments are then dressed nicely. And I'm gonna put segments all the way around the side of the plate. And again, it's lovely with the fresh orange on here. You've got a rich chocolate mousse. The orange gel in the center is a bit zippy, but still we want all the flavors to balance out nicely. So plenty of confit, adding that lovely chewy texture all the way around. And we are nearly there. And a little bit of a juice, like so. Finally, let's get our gel. Remember, just grasp that bag at the top, just squeeze from one end, use the other little finger to just aim and pipe some 
lovely little orange gel. All the way around. Have a look at this, Ed. Looking lovely. There we go. Clock strikes 12. That is our dessert. Get your little sparkler. Put that just in the top, or wherever you'd like it to be. I'm just gonna put it just in the side, that, like so, so you don't spoil the design. All ready to go to the table with your lighter, all ready to serve. That is it, our New Year's Eve menu, all cooked up, all served. Hope you've had an amazing menu at home, really, really enjoyed it. Remember, we're gonna be back next year. We've got our January menus online now. Uh, loads happening, Valentine's will also be on really, really soon. All that's left to do, Ed, light her up. Anytime now. <laughs> Happy okay. New Year. Happy New Year. From all of us at UB Chef, have a wonderful New Year's Eve, and we'll see you very soon. <laughs>